Former Shepherd Hill star Chris Lindstrom started for Boston College last year on the offensive line. He was undersized in the ACC. Not anymore. Lindstrom has put on 40 pounds since last season, and he's ready to take on anyone. I put on 40 pounds since the end of last season. Um, put on 20 right after the season in a spring ball, and then another 20 right after spring ball. Uh, it feels good. It's a little bit harder conditioning-wise, but uh, definitely it's still moving as well, and it's really, really great. I kind of like it on the field being the same way as the guys. He's a bigger man, and he's got, he was forced into the fire and got his tail whipped around a fair amount. He, he whips some tail every once in a while, but he got whipped a lot. And it's a harsh lesson, but it made him a better player. He's very ready to play. He's very ready to play. He's one of our very best offensive linemen. He's, you'd like 10 of him now. I mean, he is aggressive, and he's, 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 he's a get-after-it guy, and he's got some size now to match up to these three, 305, 310-pound inside guys that we play against. All right, Boston College opening up their season on September 3rd in Dublin, Ireland, taking on Georgia Tech. And right now, Chris Lindstrom and Isaac Yadam, another Central Mass kid, scheduled or to start on the two-deep right now to start and also look for Davon Jones, former St. John's standout, to be in the mix offensively in the backfield. Last year in the Liberty League for the WPI football team, and they are looking to go out on top. Tech coming off one of the most impressive seasons in program history, and this year they're aiming even higher. Everyone would love to say we want to go undefeated, and that's certainly our goal is to win every game but compete to the best of our abilities. We have a great football team, great football players, amazing coaches who support us and give us everything we need. So the future's bright, and we're just kind of taking it one game at a time, but we do have that in the back of my mind where we want to win every game. Yeah, that's, that's the plan. We want to go out with a bang, and we want to win. We want to win it all. We want that ring, and we just want to go 10-0, but we're going to take it one game at a time and see how everything goes. So it should be, should be a fun year. We have a lot of guys that came in very prepared to play college football this year, and... You know, it sounds like something that a lot of teams should be able to say, but, you know, we have a lot of guys that clearly work their tails off this summer and are excited to have the opportunities to come out and step on the field on Saturdays. WPI playing in just the third bowl game in program history last year. They lost to Keene, and that's motivating the engineers this year. Huge motivation for us. Huge motivation through the offseason. Huge motivation through spring football. Uh, we tested the guys in the weight room this week, and, you know, so we could tell uh, flat out that they spent the summer knowing that they had that in their back pocket and using it as a tool to, you know, to motivate them to work hard. Uh, the upperclassmen look great. Um, testing early was great. First few days of practice, guys are in shape, battling through the heat uh, without too many issues so far. So um, they're definitely hungry. You know, we want to we want to get in the in the win column as quickly as possible. And September 2nd, you know, that's 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 the goal in sight right now. WPI at MIT on Friday, September 2nd to open up their season. They host w, they host Worcester State rather on Friday, September the 9th, and they return a lot of players from last year's squad. 30 years ago, Gordy Lockbaum burst onto the national scene as a two-way player for Holy Cross, finishing fifth in the Heisman Trophy that year. He still remembers very fondly how much fun that time of his life was. I think the thing that probably stands out most was just you know, the, the, those summers where you're, you're, everybody in those days would go home, would work out, we'd talk on the phone, maybe get together for a weekend or go to the shore or go visit somebody in Michigan or whatever. But, you know, coming back and all the hugs and just getting ready to get after it and start the process, start that march through the season, through camp, then into the season, starting the school year and just getting going. It was so exciting. It was great uh, to, to just crank up the season. That's what I remember most. The camaraderie is always the best, the camaraderie. Your junior year, fifth in the Heisman, senior year, third in the Heisman. What do you remember about the Heisman Trophy selection and, and what that was like just being there? Yeah, it was such a big deal. I mean, I grew up, you know, watching the Heisman and, uh, you know, dreaming of things like that because I, I, I allowed myself to have big dreams and, and, you know, knowing, of course, some of these things wouldn't happen. So when that kind of fell in my lap, that was one of those things that you would never expect could happen. So to, to be at the Downtown Athletic Club, to, to see all the portraits, to see the actual trophy and where the show was going to get filmed, it was, it was pretty darn special. Pretty special indeed. What a great run Gordy Lockbaum had at Holy Cross. 
There are those that believe that if you want positive results, you've got to bring a positive mental attitude and positive energy. The Holy Cross field hockey team would agree. Last year, the Satyrs won their most games in nine seasons, and they say it all started with a positive attitude. When Coach Jackson came in, she really changed the atmosphere of our program, and it's been a lot more positive. We had a really great incoming class uh, last fall, and they contributed a lot to the team. And just overall, our chemistry has really grown, and as a squad, we have all become really close friends, and we trust each other, and we're looking to carry that through into this fall. I think we attribute that to just our positive atmosphere that we've kind of created here coming off of last year. I think we've built a really strong foundation and every day we come out to practice and practice really hard and then that translates really well on the field. Um, so we're really hoping to keep that up and continue our success. Uh, we had a tremendous senior class who had, they had been playing all four years of their career here and I think it all kind of came together for them. They were really excited. Uh, the new staff, we brought a lot of real positive energy and they really fed off of that and we got a lot of positive energy back from them and we really all were just on the same page, I think. So the great leadership really kicked it off and then just that desire and that competitiveness to, to make things better is really what got us going. All right, Holy Cross will have an exhibition game tomorrow and they open the season very, very uh, shortly. Both the women's soccer team and the field hockey team going to be opening up in about a week. So incredibly, we're already getting into games for the fall season. Kevin Shea back from vacation back and from talking vacation. fall sports. That's yeah, great. I like it. Good to see you. Okay. All right. That'll do it for us tonight for Worcester News Night. Kevin Shea, Andy Madison, all of us here at Charter TV3. We thank you for watching us tonight. We hope you'll tune back in again tomorrow.